Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. So today we're gonna to be doing a tea that I have been really excited for and actually had no clue what that it was um, coming out. So David C released a bubble tea collection and today we're gonna to be reviewing Burnt Sugar Boba. So it says, like the world famous brown sugar bubble on a rich and malty black tea base. Ingredients are black tea, organic cocoa powder, stevia, tapioca pearls, more tapioca pearls, black tea, milk powder, uh, cream and butterscotch flavoring. So um, I ended up getting 50 grams of this in store and um, it looks pretty good. It has like the brown and black, I guess, tapioca pearls or white and brown. Um, smelling this loose leaf, I, it doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like a black tea in my opinion. You don't smell anything sweet. Like it doesn't smell like a brown sugar bourbon or anything like that. It kind of just smells like a black tea. So it is 10.98 per 50 grams, which is pretty expensive, but there is a 25% off coupon right now if you want to use that. Uh, they also have the honeydew boba tea, which I am going to be reviewing tomorrow. So um, I'm pretty excited about this. I love black tea and it is medium caffeine, which is good. At least it has some caffeine. Um, but yeah, I made this as an iced latte, four scoops. I didn't add any sweetener just because it does have stevia. So let's give it a try. Okay, it's sweet. Mm. A little bit too sweet in my opinion. Um, it tastes like anything like I'm tasting it I just taste sweet like it doesn't I get no brown sugar I just get stevia cocoa powder I'm not getting I'm getting stevia and a bit of a black tea base it's not even a strong black tea base it's just sweet not even like super sweet but it's just I get no flavor yeah I'm drinking it's just sweet it's nothing it doesn't taste like brown sugar it doesn't taste like boba it doesn't taste like anything this tastes like a sweet light black tea like if you were getting orange pico and just add a bunch of sugar that's what this tastes like so I'm pretty disappointed in this this doesn't even really taste like anything it just tastes like sweet water and I steeped this in the fridge for like four days or three days. So I was expecting more of a flavor. This tastes like nothing to me. It's like a sweet, not even a sweet tea. Like it's just a sweet water-based drink. Like it's just kind of nasty in my opinion. The stevia is too strong. Um, I, I get nothing that tastes like bubble tea. Like if you're looking like, if you're looking at something like this, um, there is a really popular bubble tea place in Ontario and it is called the Deer Yoka, which is basically like burnt brown delicious sugar like this is all like brown sugar and then the tapioca is made with the brown sugar and then there's a the milk on top uh, that's what I was expecting this would taste like like something like this like at least even close to this this tastes gross it doesn't even taste like that it's just no uh not a fan I'm probably going to use the rust and make it hot and maybe see how that tastes, but this is not good. It's nothing. I was so excited for this tea. What a letdown. What a disappointment. So I hope the honeydew uh, boba is better, but this is just awful. It's just, it doesn't even have a nice black tea base. It just tastes like sweet water. Like it's kind of gross to me. So um, that was my review on burnt sugar boba. I don't really recommend this one if you're looking for like a bubble tea tasting tea. Um... If anything, brown sugar bourbon is the closest thing you'll get to like a, a true brown sugar burnt. Also, I forgot to add in, I just thought of this. If you guys want a realistic boba tea, go to Dessert by Deb. She has this boba milk tea. It's a black tea, but there's none of that weird garbage in it. There's like raisins, brown sugar, black tea. Um... Yeah, I saw black tea, vanilla, raisins, and brown sugar. Honestly, it tastes so good. It isn't as sweet as a regular, obviously, bubble tea because they just add a bunch of stuff in there. But this is the closest thing if you want like a boba tea, loose leaf tea. This is so good. Um, she currently has it in stock. So if you guys want a realistic boba tea, don't waste your money on David's tea. It doesn't taste anything like it. 
by Dessert by Deb's Boba Milk Tea. It is so good. So I just wanted to do that shout out to Dessert by Deb because she knows what she's doing. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. But yeah, I would not really recommend this uh, burnt sugar boba tea. Um, would I repurchase this tea? Now tasting it and the way it tastes, I would not. Would I repurchase, um, would I stock up on it? No, absolutely not. Uh, rating out of 10, this is a really big letdown. It's a 5 out of 10 for this one. Uh, I'm probably going to drink this and I bought a 50 gram bag. It's a good thing I didn't make an online order and I went in the store because huge letdown. Very disappointing. So... Let me know what you guys think of burnt sugar boba. I'm not a big fan, but if you are, go for it. It's nothing like a bubble tea. If you're looking for a bubble tea, you have to get brown sugar bourbon. That one's really, really brown sugary and nice and sweet and delicious. So I would recommend that over this. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the Honeydew Boba review.